I have been arguing for some time now that we may need a much closer connection between climate science, urban and regional planning, land use management, and emergency management. And today was really a, a talk about taking all that the next step and how we can work together much more effectively to uh, build and design or retrofit, as the case may be, our cities and our towns and our regional, regional centres uh, in a more sustainable and resilient way in the future. That requires, this is not new, all levels of government working together. But I think the good news is that we have um, a federal government now interested in these issues. Um, we have um, the development of a climate risk assessment for the whole country. We have the development for a climate change adaptation plan. Um, we have uh, the development of a new national urban policy. And, and I chair the forum that's advising the government on that. And so it might not sound like much, but at the moment we don't have any of it. So at least out of this work, we'll have a foundation on which to, to grow and to support the kind of work that all of us are involved in across the board. And uh, so I think that bodes really well for the future. So we need to have some basic principles that we all agree on as a nation, that uh, chief ministers and premiers agree on, uh, and all three levels of government engage in that uh, ensure that we don't build on flood prone land, ensure that we have well located housing near transport and services, uh, ensure that we factor in climate change and the science in any future decisions as a matter of process. So you can imagine if every decision of all the planners across the country and councils making decisions every day, thousands of them across the country, have to factor in the latest climate science, it can have a transformational impact.